Hey guys, Dave from Escape Creative here. And in this video, I want to go over some of the new features that we've recently added to Design Upgrade Pro for LearnDash. And these are for the new LearnDash Achievements add-on. This add-on was released in August of 2021 by LearnDash. You, uh, in order to use these features, you do need to have the LearnDash Achievements add-on um, activated, installed and activated, which you can do from LearnDash LMS and add-ons within your WordPress site. And you can also download it and get the full documentation on LearnDash's support site, learndash.com support, and just search for the achievements add-on. And before I go into the new settings in Design Upgrade Pro for LearnDash, I want to cover just a couple of settings that LearnDash itself provides. So when you go to LearnDash LMS and Achievements, and then click over to the Settings tab, there's a handful of settings here, and I just want to cover the background color and the text color, because these are the two that um, apply in terms of the features that we're adding for Design Upgrade Pro. So the background color. Because LearnDash provides an ability to change the background color uh, themselves, we do not provide it in our Design Upgrade Pro plugin. So for the background color of the pop-up notification for all of your achievements, use this setting here that LearnDash already provides. And then for text color, um, if you want your title and your message to both be the same color, then you can just simply use this text color here in the LearnDash settings and not use the ones that, we're gonna, that we provide in Design Upgrade Pro that I'll show you in a second. Um, if you want different colors, your title and your message to be two different colors, then you can use our plugin to do that and our plugin setting will override this right here. So you can set this if you'd like them to both be the same, but if not, then don't worry about this setting here. I'll show you how to set them in Design Upgrade Pro for LearnDash. When you get to the customizer, you'll come to LearnDash Design Upgrade, just like you always do to get to all of the different options that we provide. And then you'll see that there's a new panel down near the bottom called Achievements. So this panel is only going to be present if you have that LearnDash Achievements add-on active. If that plugin is not active, then this will not show up. So make sure that that's active. You'll see this Achievements panel. Go ahead and click on it, and this will open up all of the settings that we have in our plugin. Almost all the settings here are going to apply to the pop-up uh, container and the title and the message. This all refers to that notification that's going to pop up in the top right corner of the screen. Um, we do have one option at the very bottom if you're using the My Achievements block or shortcode, um, but we'll cover that at the end. So let's start with the first option here for a pop-up container vertical position. So by default, the pop-up is going to be in the top right corner of the screen. Um, we've given you the option to change that to the bottom part of the screen if you'd like. In terms of left and right positioning, um, that is dictated by the LearnDash settings. If you choose the um, RT RTL or the right to left language setting, if you enable that, then it's going to put the pop-up over on the left. If you disable it, the pop-up is going to be on the right. So you can do that with LearnDash. So we've decided to just give you the option to change the vertical position and move it top or bottom. So let me move it to the bottom and I will show you what that looks like. And I have a notification set up to trigger any time a user visits a page or a post. So I'm just going to refresh this page and you'll notice that the notification will show up down here in the bottom right hand corner because we moved that vertical position to the bottom. And there it is, down on the bottom. The next three options here are for the border of that notification pop-up. So border width and border color are going to go hand in hand. If you don't set a border width, then the color won't apply. So you need to add a value for the border width in order for the color to show up. So let's go ahead and do a three pixel border and let's just make it a bright red color just to make it really obvious. It's gonna look kind of silly, but you'll get the idea. And then border radius, by default, LearnDash adds a two pixel border radius to the pop-up, but let's say we wanted to do something a lot more drastic. Let's go 15 so that you can see some pretty severe rounded corners. And I'll go ahead and save that and show you what that looks like. And I'll come back here and refresh the page so I get another notification. And here you'll see that three pixel red border and you'll notice that these corners are much more rounded now. So this is that 15 pixel border radius that we're applying there uh, to those corners. So now let's take a look at the pop-up container shadow option. So by default there is no shadow applied. Uh, we give you the two options here, one for small and one for large. So let's take a look at each. And um, also notice that I have changed the background color to white and I've added a subtle uh, one pixel gray border to the outside. And then I've changed sort of some of the options down here, which I'll cover in a second. But I wanted to make this white so that you could really see that shadow nice and well. So let me go ahead and refresh our page and I'll show you what that looks like. 
So I've moved the notification back to the top, and you'll notice that there is a small shadow around uh, and below this notification window. So let's go ahead and change that to large, and I'll show you how that looks instead. And here you can see a uh, much larger, lighter shadow that shows up uh, behind and around the notification. The next options we'll look at are the Achievements pop-up Hide Image, and then we'll also take a look at the Title uh, and the Message options as well. So this uh, Achievements pop-up for hiding the image, we've added this in as an option because LearnDash requires that you use an image of some kind every time you create an achievement. But if you didn't want to show that image in your notification, then we give you the option to hide it. Um, it will still show up on your list of my achievements when, um, if you're using this block or short code, it will still show up there, but this will just hide it from the actual pop-up that comes up if you want to. So all you need to do is check that box and that will hide it. And then the pop-up title, font size, and color. So the title is also required for your achievements. The message is optional. So for the title, we give you the ability to change the font size as well as the color of just the title. Um, so this is different. LearnDash provides the option to change the color of both title and message and make them the same. We give you the option to actually split those up into two different colors if you want. So um, we've been using a font size of 16 here, and then for the message, we've been using 13. Let's say we actually wanted to switch this. Uh, let's do 14 for the title, and then let's make the message actually 16. So you can make the title a little bit smaller, and then you can make the message actually a larger font size. And then you'll notice we've got um, blue here for the title and then a darker gray for the actual message. So let's go ahead and save this and take a look at and see what that looks like. All right, so here is our notification. You'll notice that there is no more image over here on the left. So we got rid of that by checking that box. And then the thanks for visiting, which is our title, is smaller uh, font size, that's 14. And then we've got 16 for the font underneath. And then you'll notice the two, difference, two different colors that we have for title and message. So this is something that LearnDash does not provide that our plugin will give you the option to do if you'd like. We also uh, make sure that your, um, any links that you put in a message, if you have them, that they use the same color here as your message color and that they're underlined, which is just a better thing for accessibility. So um, typically this would inherit, would inherit whatever your theme is using but we've decided to um, make it use the same message color that you're using here in the settings. And the final setting uh, does not work uh, for that notification pop-up. It is actually gonna be for the My Achievements block or short code, which is LB underscore My underscore Achievements, which you can see down here. So if you're using this block or this short code um, anywhere on any one of your pages, a lot of times you can use it on the same page as you're using your My Profile short code from LearnDash. Um, then the default image size for all of these little badges or icons that show up is going to be 40 pixels. So that's what LearnDash sets it as. We give you the option to change that. So here currently we've got it set to 30, so these images are actually a little bit smaller than uh, what LearnDash usually uses, but let's say we go up to 60, and we can actually just preview that change right here in our customizer, and you'll notice that these badges are a good bit larger now. They're twice the size that they just were, so they're now 60 pixels. The other thing you might notice is that the little tooltips that show up, um, they have the title of the achievement that shows up when you hover over the image. We've applied the same colors and uh, border radius that we're using for regular LearnDash tooltips. Uh, so you can find those if you go back one and you go to your tooltips panel here. We give you background color and text color. So these are for some of the other tooltips that might be found on different LearnDash elements. In order to keep things consistent, we're just gonna use these same tooltip colors for the tooltips when you hover over these guys. And then the border radius that's being used here for these tooltips is just like the other tooltips within the LearnDash interface, we're using your global border radius for the, uh, the rounded corners here for the tooltips. So that gives you a good overview of all of the new features for the LearnDash Achievements add-on. I hope you guys like them.